Got us a fox here. Fox with a dollar. We are on the draw, it seems. Against these. One drop into William Ruin. Sign me up. Morning, Kyle. Yep. One of the changes I made from the list over the weekend is I added three more one drops in because the Valiant Escort starts have been so good. So we got a couple of Totem of Lanupaw in the deck as well now. Just so we can consistently go one drop into two drop a little bit more often. Points on some kind of Diamond Sapphire control deck, it looks like. Likely control deck. Dreaming Fox usually implies something more controlling. Seven charges create an Oracle Song, which draws you two cards. Man. Third William Rowan to the charm. If he's got Dingles and Transmog, we're gonna be okay. Wow, it's a trap. Okay. Run, it's a trap! Jam that up on in there. Let's see if this guy's gonna eat a trap too or not. I almost hope he eats a trap so that way I can go William Rowan into Valiant Escort here. Oh, just take your damage, play this, and then play Valiant Escort, I think. Is he eating it to die? This might eat it to die. He, if he doesn't have, they don't have more removal. Dingle, sure. going on for our opponent here. Um, am I gracing at this point? I feel like I'm not. Grace is like one of the first cards coming out in this matchup because um, it's very poor against Transmog or Fade and um, oh you know what I should do? I should grace this so that way if he kills it I get to get my Valiant Escort back. That's kind of funny. So Grace of Teodos Gives target troop you control plus two plus two in flight permanently, and then it gives it on death cry reverted and put it back into play. So against like blood based removal, it could it could save it from from dying essentially for a turn. How's it going, Ace? Yep. Yeah, we're coming to similar conclusions, right? Alright, um. Now it's a little awkward that, like, I drew that, so, like, I don't... Well, where's my dog at? Come on, William. Willy boy! Where's the puppy, Willy boy? Go ahead and play this llama herder here. Get another dingle, probably. We got three Angel of Atonements in the reserves, I think, so... That'll be pretty good in this matchup. We do also want to watch ourselves, we don't want to overextend into a Clash of Steel here. We could possibly get Dread Ended here as well. That's that's pretty real. It's almost certainly a card they're playing. I guess they could be on the Clash plan instead of... Instead of Dread End. If they Dread End here, it's not that bad for us. We get to, like, crack them for 3 down to 13 and then play another William Rowan as a follow-up. William Rowan is unique, that's why we're not playing out additional copies of him. Dark Cardinal Zan, yep. Sure, have a stop in there and step, yep. And then it's got plus toughness, which is convenient for us, because this destroys a random opposing troop with. Defense five or more. So dead. Enjoy. Let's go ahead and cycle this, see what we get. Decree banishing, sure. Oh, I missed a point. 
Uh, God, where is Rowan at? Good lord. So this this could exhaust another troop we control to get plus one plus one. So he should be at ten. Watch watch him live at one life. Like that's what that's what we deserve. Ten out of ten deserve them to win this game at one life. So they can chant power and draw two cards now. Yep. What you got, what you got, what you got. He has another dark heart here. We have a decree of banishing. Almost certainly bringing in the rest of our... We can grace a dreadleg. You are correct. That's a reason to hold it. Chastise. Yep. Good night, Llama Herder. He just, like, knows we have infinite William Rones in our hand. Feels bad, man. Come on. Bow, wow, wow. Yippee, yo. Good God, I am... We are so unlucky with this card. It's, like, unbelievable. Morning, Ryan. Morning, Shadow Sword. Oh, so we play this guy out into a dingle. Yep. Okay, sure. Uh, so every time this card attacks, he moves this card called Rowan up in our deck five places, and then if Rowan's the top of our deck, it flips it into play. And what he's attacked, we played him on turn two, so we've had this is at least start that was at least our turn seven. So he's attacked three, four, five, six, seven. So it didn't put it in the top thirty cards of our deck. Look, Ryan, Twitch tells me all the stuff. You can't hide from me. Sacrifice a dingle. Play Decree of Banishing. That gets protected. Okay, and now now we're going to go ahead and play the Grace of Tianos on William Rowan here, not only so it can continue attacking, but if we hit Rowan on this trigger, our opponent will die if they don't have a Transmogger Feed here. This gives him 2-2 two -two in flight. So, big bucks, no transmog. Ding, ding, ding. And this makes Rowan deal double damage. So, 10, ten double damage in the air. Boom, goes the dynamite. Alright, so are we boarding here? We are cutting the grace of Tianost almost certainly. Um, I only have two Angels of Atonement on my board. That's sad. I think we want the diamonds favor. If he's smart, he's probably going to cut. He's probably going to take the protection gem off his thing. I think I want the bring to justices, just because um, I, they're better than decree of banishing. I feel because these can make us get sacrificed by uh, dark heart, so we don't really want to do that. Planned it. Yep. Might want a third Angel of Atomic on the board. When this comes into play, it could revert any number of target cards. So it undoes it undoes transmogger fades and dingles. It could also reset our infinite tricks. And it's just like a 3-3 flyer. It must have cut the third one when I was fitting in the totemic the totems of Lanupa. Look at that, the deck list updated on screen just like we wanted. God bless. Yeah, same seems fine. It's got a one drop, and if we've got two draws to find a, a non-slow shard to jam Willy Boy as a follow-up. Shard. Okay. So now we have to decide, do I want a guaranteed play totem? Yeah, I think I want a guaranteed play totem here. It's like next turn we might not have anything to do if we're just like playing a slow shard, but I think getting some pressure in under Dingle is a big deal. Just like this card coming down on one is probably going to deal somewhere between two and four points of damage at the minimum, so. I guess they do also have totem traps in the main though too, so that's not strictly true. So hopefully we draw a diamond shard here so we can start playing our two drops. So we can go like two drop on two into slow shard, two drop on three. A 
Lady Fury with the 64 viewer host. Welcome. Thank you for that. Welcome to some Hex TCG, folks. So we hit the Diamond Shard. That's perfect. It's just what we wanted. Go ahead and attack with this. Probably eat a totem trap. No! Oh, run! It's a trap! Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and jam Willy Boy here post combat. Hopefully, hopefully the pupper. So when he comes into play, he puts Rowan into our deck, which is a big scary dog. And then every time he attacks, he brings Rowan a little bit closer to combat. Let's go ahead and see where my dog's at. Nowhere in sight. Alright, let's go ahead and jam the Llama Herder here. I'm gonna run into the eyes and Dingles at some point. Might as well just start getting them out here. We got plenty of troops. So long, Llama Herder, my old friend. Play your third resource here. Pass the turn. We're kind of in a decent spot. Like, there's only four, six, four drops in our deck. So, there's only four cards we can draw that we can't play right now. So, like, even if we bricked on a resource there, we would have been okay. Why haven't you learned to use your shot calling power for my own benefits yet, right? Yes. Yeah, where are my dogs at? Um, 10 out of 10 playing this. Am I just jamming an infinite tricks here? I'm actually going to grab this totem of Lanupaw back. Because I feel like if he has an, a counter piece of counter magic, he needs to use it on whatever I play here. So I'd rather he use it on something kind of poopy like a totem. And now this card, this card hasn't seen a ton of constructive play, but I think it's pretty reasonable. It's a 2-1 for 1 that you could pay 3 to give your next troop in your deck one of the following at random. Plus 1, plus 1, Flight, Life Drain, Steadfast, or Swift Strike. So it's just like a way... It's a 2-1 for 1, and it allows us to use our resources when we're in boards like this, where we don't necessarily want to commit threats into my opponent's board. So, attack with these. Hey, there my dog's at, and look, he's got... Oh, it probably wasn't the next troop when I did that, so... This is 6, 7, 8 here. What you got, what you got, what you got? We have a totem trap for one of these. We get to play Daughter of the Poet post-combat, and then we'll have five diamonds so we can return a troop to our crypt. Pride's fallen, my Rowan. Yep. So, hit with these. Deal damage. So they take five here. Uh, I get to play this diamond out, and then I get to play my Daughter of the Poet. And if he doesn't have a transmogrified for the start of the Poet, at my end of turn, Daughter's going to, yep, return Rowan to play. There my dog's at. So if they have a Clash of Steel here, it's like a little medium for us, but we like get to keep a row and have infinite tricks as his follow-up, so it's not the end of the world. We also get to trigger Totem of Lanupaw one more time. But outside of Clash, we're in a pretty amazing spot, and they don't have a second diamond for Clash, even if they have it here. So let's go ahead and activate our Prophecy. And then I'm pretty sure we just never attack with the Daughter into in Totem Trap here. Well, I guess he probably has to trap William, right? This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, and when this attacks, we give all of our troops plus 1, plus 1. Right? This attacks, troops control. Yeah, I guess I'm just supposed to ship with the squad, actually. Dead. Alright. Infamous Neo with the 17 viewer host. Welcome, folks. Do I want another Angel of Atonement in the reserves? I don't know that I do. I don't know if there's that many. There's that many Sapphire decks transforming our stuff. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. Had a fun, fun weekend. I'm just joining us here for my normal Monday morning slot. Doing some Hex TCG Constructed. We are currently 69th on the Constructed Ladder. Morn and L wins.
Hey! Don't attack your brother! Thank you. Darn kids. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. You'd have been proud of me, Ryan. I destroyed in sealed this weekend. I went uh, 10 and 2 across three different sealed events. On top of winning the Team Constructed 1K. It's a, it's a good weekend for TCGs for us. And the best part is, I didn't have to leave the house. Uh, I didn't have to leave my town. The one, I guess the 1K I had to, I had to leave. Leave the town. That was, that was in town. Hey, I would just like the record to reflect that I won the third match in the finals. 2-0, thank you very much. And I won the first round. Man. A slow cue in the morning. Heavy. It's only like my second or third time streaming in this time slot. Well, there doesn't seem like there's a lot of other people on at this time, so it seems like an okay, an okay time to be doing it. Alright, we got Claude here, playing Takahiro. Takahiro is a 3 charge champion that for 3 charges you sacrifice a troop to draw a card and gain 3 life. Um, man, just this is what I want to do all day. I want to play a 1 drop and then I want to play a William Rowan on 2. Just, alright, God bless. More? What do you need more of? Ooh, opponent likely playing our conscript the conscript aggro deck. Um, am I just taking this trade? Guys, that feels terrible, right? Pretty sure we just take this trade. This match is probably really bad for us. This is good. So, like, trading there means our William Rowan gets to attack this turn, basically. Would love to run off some Diamond Charge here so we can get these daughters live at some point. Alright, 10 out of 10, shipping with this. Gosh, where where are my dogs at? Bark with me now. Um, I think I'm playing daughter here. It's a little bit risky with Hero Fall, but I feel like they're not going to take their turn 2 to Hero Fall by daughter when I missed a shard drop. I feel like this is their priority at the moment. Sacrifice that to draw a card and gain some life, yep. My pick for the tourney. Ah, uh, there's not a tournament coming up anytime soon. Not till like next month, so I've got I've got some time here. Yep, as predicted, strangles strangles the William Bro and it's supposed to. There you go. So yep, we're just gonna go ahead and crack with the daughter here. And then I think I'm actually just going to end step Ozawa's wish, bring back William Rowan here. The eighth. Is it next weekend already? No, it's two weeks, right? Yeah, I got like two weeks. I'll grab William Rowan here. Uh, it doesn't update based on cards drawn in the deck, but it does update when, um, it does update when I, uh, when I sideboard. So, it always reflects the starting contents of the deck. There's another shard, that's good for us, target that. I could have played Daughter and, like, double jumped these, but I think it's better to get the Cenobite off the table, because this is when he conscripts, he goes nuts, basically. Where my dog's at? Gosh. Where are my dogs at? There's two dogs in my deck now. 
and they are never near the top. I spent most of the weekend trying to make the tool user friendly as opposed to adding features. I spent time. Oh, do you need a snack? You need a snack? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna run upstairs and grab grab Declan a snack. He just brought me his snack bowl, so I'll be right back. Ponich just asked toddler alert. I'm like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that short delay, folks. Those of you that are new to the stream, uh, I am a father of two. My youngest is almost two, and my older one is just turned three last month, so. They take priority over the stream a couple of times per stream, of course. Alright, one force kind of annoying. Hopefully we rip a diamond shard here so we can go daughter into jump these two smash. Infinite tricks. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I guess we're just slamming with these two, right? Although, huh. So if I slam like this and offer this trade here and I hit Rowan, he'll go to one? I think I'm actually okay with that. Ding. Alright, and they don't have sweepers in their main deck because they're likely on my deck list, so let's go ahead and do that. Just go wide here. This game is so over. Yeah, I agree. Cycling a coin here. Uh, they updated the default font, Scarrow. Uh, my tool, if you're using my tool to automatically put stuff on your screen, um, my tool no longer gives you, oh, I should block with this because it gains me life, uh, my tool no longer puts text, uh, random numbers in the deck list name when you submit for reserves, which is nice. Um, peace, Lady Fury, thanks again for the host. Uh, huh. Diamond Favor doesn't seem particularly good in this matchup. I guess it kills um, Runier Hierophant, but that's about it. I think I'd rather just have Bring to Justice or possibly Totem Trap. Probably Bring to Justice, because Totem Trap misses Sharpshooter a lot of the time. I think I'm just going to swap those, really. Just like bring in two Bring to Justices for the two Diamonds Favors. 
I'm going to trim an infinite tricks actually for another bring to justice because having that many four drops in my deck is kind of a liability against a hero fall deck. I guess totem of Lanu paw is kind of mediocre. I guess I could see tribbing these because they just have a bunch of like random two ones. Actually, Valiant Escort's probably worse than. And they have like one fours and stuff too. Honestly, maybe all of these are supposed to come out. I'm supposed to like do. Alright, let's try that now that I'm out of time to think about it. Let's see how this goes. It's fine. It would feel better with a one drop in it until he plays like an eager lackey and then it would just be awful. The cheap shot construct deck. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think, uh, uh, when we go back to reserve, if we get a third game here, we're going to try and cut all of them because they have like lackeys and cheap shots, so. Alright, so they have a Strangle here, almost certainly. I'm going to lead on Daughter of the Poet, since I have another one in my hand here. I think I'd rather this get Strangled than William, William Rowan. I'd also rather this get Strangled than Hero Fallen, since I have a second one. Drawing another William Rowan is actually pretty terrible here for us. I'm just going to go ahead and decree a banishing and take this off the table. Probably not going to be able to totem trap it. And we're at 25 resources in this deck too. Woof. Board in the blood favor. Okay, so probably turned into just more of a control deck post reserves here. Probably going to get ranched on a hero fall with this William Rowan, but uh, pretty sure we just jam it. I think it's a little bit of a liability that he's unique and they can get gummed up, but I think it's worth the risk. It's just like such a powerful card. Is there Chastise to the board, or... I don't think we need Chastise. Maybe we could split these Bring to Justices with Chastise, but, like, this is, like, my extra piece of removal in the reserves. Is this this Bring to Justice? Right, what am I doing here? So I could jam Infinite Tricks, but I think we're just supposed to keep their board clear here and just apply pressure. Just, like, preserve our life total a little bit, basically. Keep their payoffs down. Into the cheap shot, sure. Hey, Nero. Play this. Pass the turn here. Next turn, we just get to go William Daughter past the turn. Like, sounds, sounds great to me. And then we have Bishop Elijah, like, looming overhead here. I can put a troop to cost two or less back into play. Sure. Yep, they drew an underworld troop, so they drew, got a dreadling here. Alright, let's have a diamond charge, so that way we can go daughter into William Rowan, bring back a daughter. The game will basically be over at that point, if that's if that's what happens. Well, diamond shard, 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 diamond shard. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um... Let's do this. I think we're just taking this off the table. 
Like, it hasn't conscripted yet. It generates random dreadling value, like they're gonna be able to use their champion power again next turn, so let's just take that off. Do you get a lot of ghosts when you stream Hex? I don't know. I don't think so. And even if we do, like, ghosting is, like, part of the job, right? Like, the, there's gonna be people that do that. And I, I really hate when people are like, Oh, man. Oh, God. Here comes the Chompasaur. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here comes the Chompasaur. The only thing they need second wild for is Chomp... Excuse me, Chompasaur. He's figured out which decree of banishing he wants to kill here. Does he want the Mad Progenitus back or... Yep. Okay. Rough. If we would have hit the diamond last turn, if we would have hit the diamond last turn, we'd probably still be okay here, but if he has a strangle for this, we're in trouble. Do I want to take this trade? I feel like I want to take this trade because I have the daughter in my hand. I can't attack with this anyways. This is a little aggressive, it feels like. God, still nothing. Woof. All right, let's play infinite tricks out here. We wanted to spend removal on these things, so that way when we hit our fifth threshold, daughter could come down and just start rebuying things. Oh, jeez, vomit. Yep, real liability. Do you have a removal spell for this? If they don't have removal for this, that Obel certainly means us to deliver them. We just really need our fifth fifth resource. Yeah, no blocks. Our hero has fallen. Alright, come on. Come on, diamond. 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 Ding. Alright, well, let's uh, get uh, Daughter of the Poet back here. And then... We're gonna play Double Daughter and uh, get back Infinite Tricks and really play them around. One daughter, two daughter, red daughter, blue daughter. Yep, grab this back, grab this back. God, this card's great. Ding, ding, ding. Sure, we have a one, two. Sure. Alright, so these things all gain lethal, that's annoying. So... I feel like we should play around Cheap Shot here. It's the best way to do that. So I'm at 7. I can't really afford to play around Cheap Shot, can I? I think I have to put this here. If I do this... into this, what happens? I guess I could do this into this, and then Totem Trap this. This means I'm dead though, right? Because this is 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so I have to do this. And then... I'm taking 11 and I'm going to 10... 12. So that's not good enough if my opponent has anything here. Man, that lethal is good. Tricks on the Dreadling, Rowan on the Rabbit. Do that. That doesn't that doesn't change anything. I still have to throw away a daughter here. Right? I'm trying to think if there's a way I don't have to throw away a daughter, and I don't think there I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure it's Oh, I, I can I can double here, right? I can go doubles like that. And then this is gaining seven. Or I could do this. And this is gaining... I could do this. And this gains me 7, and then I Totem Trap here. Can multi-block the Dreadling. Yep, I just came to that conclusion. Thank you. So this puts us up to 14, and then we're taking 11 here. Yeah, so blocks... 
make sure I have a stop on their turn. Yeah. Block. And then before damage happens, we're going to totem trap this Runier Hierophant. And then damage. We should take two here. Or four. All right. Yeah, we're taking 11, gaining seven. Sure. Hey, look. There's Rowan. All right. Um... So if I shift steadfast onto here, and then flight onto here, I could attack with both of these, and then still play Rowan out this turn. I guess if he has a cheap shot here, this, this is kind of loose. Alright, play Rowan out, and then end step, bring some William Rowan's back into play. And he's unique, but he's just gonna put some more dogs in our deck, basically. Eat more food? Give me your bowl. Where's your bowl? The will the the electric William Boogaloo. Think think we got him here? Man. Are we really going to beat them killing two of our decrees? You want some, Jake? Nope. Okay. I did not catch your draft deck. So, oh, actually, that's that's really good. So this is the reason why we have this card in our deck is because it's a necrotic, so it gets to revert infinite tricks when we play it. Uh, exhaust that. Squishy with the eight month three subscription, two thirds of a year. Welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. Uh, I guess I'll put flight on this and then just like swing with the squad here. Because even if he kills like by infinite tricks or anything like that in combat, the daughters are just bringing the back and end step. Rawr. Daughter of the po This is just such, such an incredibly powerful card. Such an incredibly powerful card. Right, so they go to two, and then these trigger and get back infinite tricks and get back uh, the William Burrow that's not dead. So how was that magic tournament? Uh, my team took first place. It was a team constructed tournament and uh, we won. There were 29 teams there, I think. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> the old blood's favor, take your own way out. Oh, oh, they're just waiting by crypt. I actually ended up finding an English copy of the deck. The diminutive diamond deck. Bishop, Bishop daughter is very, very good. You are not wrong. Bishop, Bishop plus daughter is, is great. And then one thing my tool's not doing yet is uh, updating after the match ends. So I just have to save again here real quick and switch this back. We have to buy daughters to get our die. Yeah, it's very good. She just needs to be in an all diamond shell. I'll be right back. Jake wants the stack now that Declan has one, so I'll be right back while we wait for this to queue. Thanks for hanging out, folks. It's pretty terrible. It's also definitely a trap against like that likely has hero fall in it. This hand's not stellar, but I think it's a keep. You want a couple crackers too? So Totem of Lanapa seems easy to take out with removal. So Totem of Lanapa is is literally in the deck because it's a two one for for one resource. The fact the fact that it has a text box is upside. Just like Valiant Escort, we are playing this card because it is a two one that costs one resource. Vampire Prince, sure. It's like our coin. Alright, let's do this. And then I don't think I want to burn a grace on this. 
I guess I could burn a grace on this, and then I can block this vampire prince? I think that's fine, actually. Is it 2 2 in flight? Maybe they'll hit us here and then give us something to Ozawa's wish back. Oh, another grace, sure. That's sad. Cycle this, draw a card. Alright, and Fitrix will be good at some point here. Opponent missed their third charge drop, notably for us. I so got that going. Got that going on. Hey, look, Totem of Lanupaw. I think I might just wish that back, honestly. I guess I can't attack with it now. Okay, seems loose if I can't attack with it. Ooh, actually, you know what? This is, this is kind of a liability here, because uh, if he has removal for this, which they likely do, they're going to possibly get an action out of my hand here. This card is getting out of our deck ASAP. Yep. Oh. Alright, we're done. We're done. That's going to take the other Infinitrix out of our deck, which is then... Um, which means they guaranteed take an action out of our hand to get a Vampire Kiss, so... Sign me up for anything else there. Let's grab some Elder of the Lost Ages here. Um... I don't actually have that much I want to cut in this matchup. I think a Tricks definitely comes out. Uh, I want all of my removal. I want my Grace of Tianost. Um, I need to just trim a couple totems because they're a little mediocre against two, three vampires. Yeah, I guess these are these are bad against uh, these are bad against Bride, right? Am I supposed to cut all of these because they're that bad against Bride? You should be running 18. Just, you know, for reference. I don't know what I actually want to do here. Uh, let's do that for now, see how it feels. I guess totem traps kill vampires, too. Hey, Bob. And seems fine. It's got William Rowan on two into a couple pieces of removal. I think we're probably going to cut the totem after this, because I'm just, like, thinking about, like, it's just so bad against these bride decks, right? And, like, these type of decks are the ones where you want the extra pressure, and, like, you just, it's unplayable because of cheap shots and brides. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep my 75% draft win rate to myself, and you, you all do you. Uh, you know what? I probably should have played the to bring to justice here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this coin for now. Wow! 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 Yippee! Yippee! So 
So long, William, my old friend. Alright, uh, well, now that we hit Ozawa's wish, I'm gonna hold my champion power, I think, here, so I'll just play Llama Herder and pass. I've played north of 50 drafts this season, and I've played less than 18 shards three times, and every time the deck had a curve that stopped at four. One of them only had two four drops at it. Oh, that's annoying. I'll do this, I guess. It's unfortunate to take the bring to justice out of my hand. It's kind of strange that this is still in their deck post board against us. Start by cycling this. If we get a troop we can play out, we can... Grace of Tianost. Sign me up, ladies and gentlemen. All I want is William Rowan attacking all the time. There my dog's at, and there's still two resources away from, from the ashes here, so looking looking like in a pretty good spot. This is gonna get to make a llama next turn, so like he's got like three things he needs to kill here on board. Me more crackers. Yeah. Rylanth. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of scary. So if he kills any one of my things, all of them die. Curious what my win rate is in Hex, higher or lower than Magic. Um, I dick around at Constructed a lot, so I don't really have a good sample of that. We are playing Constructed Ladder. So... I can't attack with this. I guess I just attack with these two, right? They're not going to be able to attack. They have to, they have to chump block. Trex, with the 12 month three subscription, thank you for the continued support, I do appreciate it, welcome back. I'm assuming he's setting up for From the Ashes next turn. So, I'm gonna attack with these, has to block William Bro, I could choose to go to two here. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a chump go to two, honestly, there's no reach in our deck, so like, why, why wouldn't they, yeah. And if they have any piece of spot removal next turn, they get to take all of these out. So, I don't think I actually want these Valiant Discords in my deck. I guess one Diamond's Favor is probably fine. I can, like, counter a random Cheap Shot. And I guess I'll play an Angel of Atonement. We're going to change the reserves of the deck up a little bit after this match, I think. Honestly, I probably wouldn't mind having a fourth Grace in this matchup. Seems a little bit clunky. I'm gonna keep it. I just like kill their things. The pick and derail some. I don't think it's another one drop ace. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's just like. We're putting more, we're putting another two drop in the deck. I want to try Ch Chimera Bot, actually. Chimera Bot, I want to go back up to two Ozawa's Wish and I want to try a Chimera Bot. Um, another Grimskull Tactician might be okay, just like an exhaust target thing. You know, like, be the control, we're just gonna be the control deck here and just like curve out with removal on his threats. So let's look at like. So, we'll take this out of our commission. Okay. 
Shardless, Ace, shardless. Get with the program, come on now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play a Grim Skull Tactician here. If he wants to hit me, he might actually flip us into a troop for Bishop Elijah, so I think that's fine. This also gets us some pressure on the table. Like, ten out of t like this could almost certainly die. We're going to play the Elder of the Lost Ages out next turn. This card's pretty good resistant, too. I'm pretty sure Shardless is the correct term. Could be wrong, though. Flipped over infinite tricks. It's a little bit sad. A shard's actually not a bad draw here, because it means we could play Elder plus hold up Totem Trap for next turn. Just, like, smash with this. No, you need resources to cast them. Oh, right. God, this card's probably not playable because of that interaction with Strangle. So Strangle keeps it minus four, minus four until end of turn, and that until end of turn gets tracked through zones. This is okay against Strangle because it reverts it before it puts it back into play. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I'm gonna hold this Diamond Shard in hand in the event of Vampire Princess. There my dog's at. Bark with me now. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo yippee. I'm gonna play this out. Um, I'm gonna try and grace it. I feel like they could be holding a from the ashes here. Wow. Okay. So they could have also been holding a piece of removal like that to like savage our grace of Tiados. I felt like they would have killed this, but maybe this just like their life total wasn't low enough that that was a consideration yet. This is like literally just in our deck as a 3 3 flyer right now. This attacked, put a random troop from your crypt into your hand. Do you have any troops in your crypt? You have a vampire prince, sure. So this doesn't happen until it diligences, right? Yeah, so like I've got infinite time until I have to worry about that. Oh, that sucks. Kinda punished. Maybe I just should have gone boop boop. And like, he's from the ashes this year. I'm not blocking because this represents from the ashes and I want this to come back into play. Nope, just concedes. Alright. Okay, let's um, hit this and look around here. So not, not impressed with Totem just because of like, the positioning of it in the metagame with like, the removal and stuff people are playing. Let's put Nozawa's Wish here in the main deck and a uh, Chimera Bot or two. Choose one at random. This gets plus one, plus one in flight. Yeah, let's try, let's try two of those. This could be fine. And come back with our champion power too. In the reserves, Elder of the Lost Ages. Super, super aggressively mediocre because of Strangle in the matchup where you want it. Um, what else do we want in here? Do we want extra Chimera bots just as like more grindy threats? It's like a poor man's llama herder, just like an additional way to grind? If that's the case, should they be in the main? Yeah, probably not. What are what are any other are there any other grindy cards we could play in the reserves of this deck? Are there any other any other grinders we could play? I guess I could put the the Martyred Saint back in here. This card's not terrible. Oh, you want your tablet? Mm -hmm. 
Fourth grace in the reserves. Yeah, and the fourth grace isn't a bad idea. It's actually a really good idea, actually. That's probably just like one of the better cards against the blood decks. Yeah, let's just do that for now. It's probably fine. And a couple Chimera bots up there at the top. Novocaine playing Kaigulichu here. This hand seems okay. It's got like Escort into Llama Herder. We're probably really awful against the Kaigu Crusader decks, depending on which, which version of Kaigu, Kaigulichu our opponent's playing. I have to imagine that deck's not particularly popular right now. Ali's been slaying with it, but I haven't seen too much of it when I've actually been playing games. But I have to imagine we're a huge dog to a Kaigu Crusader deck. This is getting cheap shotted here. Scale one to cheap shot. Where are we at here? Well, you let me trigger assault. Llama, llama, it's a llama. It's a very funny llama, llama, llama farmer, llama, llama, llama duck. I lived in a tree house. I lived in a cake, but I never saw the way the orange led the rake. Please don't play a four, 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 four. Please don't play a four, 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 four. Please don't play a four, 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 four. Do 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 do. Yep. Ten on ten. Uh, am I blocking here? I feel like I'm supposed to block here. Gives him speed and it ex gives him a resource when it attacks. Uh, play that out. It's like cracking for this and playing a daughter here. They can't croc next turn because there's still two resources off of that. So I guess I guess I'll just just daughter. Just like add pressure to the table. Blood shard back. So that's got Skyguard, so we're not getting to attack in this turn. Hey, Immortal. Uh, we've been going for about an hour. Still got, still got another hour, hour and a half in me. Can't attack in because this has Skyguard instant fast. So I'll go ahead and play out infinite tricks here, and then we'll pass the turn. Still can't get Croc next turn because the opponent only has single Wild Threshold. Hey, Dark Wonders, more to do you too. Been roughing people up Craig West Coast style so far this morning. Uh, no blocks. Yeah, no blocks. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah, that's actually really good for us because it means our daughter of the poet's gonna get to trigger, right? And we got a diamond's favor to kill that. Uh, sure. Give something flying, it doesn't really matter. Um,. Yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and Diamond's Favor and destroy random opposing troop. Or make this a Crusader deck. We, I do not want to make this a Crusader deck. Things things I don't want to do. Make this a Crusader deck. Uh, play this and then pass the turn. Yeah, possibly. Put my herder back into play. Yeah, that could possibly be be one that we play.
I'm pretty sure I just take four here again. Oh, that's bad for us. Mistress of the Bones gets back as you can. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we just can't fight this much go over the top power, but, you know, we'll see. Um, well, I mean, let's flip a coin and see if we get the Yazucan instead of the Mistress of the Bones. Ding! Alright, so play this out. Um, let's put Life Drain on here. Then do that. And, like ship with my eight eight. Gain eight. If you kill it, I get to bring it back with daughter. I guess Waltz is bad for us, sure. We're just not even thinking about the ones that are that terrible for us though. We've got three Bring to Justice in the reserves, so that's going to be pretty good in this matchup. Rancor, good. God, man. This Yazu can that just won't quit. Yazu can, it's just like the gift that keeps on giving, huh? What am I doing here? So we're obviously getting Daughter of the Poet back. That's, that's happening. Um, am I just like stacking up on the life drain one again here? I feel like I am. He didn't have a stop set. He was he was missing a stop for my main phase too, so my daughter of the poet got to trigger. Get got, get got. That's pretty good. Oh, right, he can sacrifice us to the Rot Paw now. Okay. You're supposed to spread out my attackers there a little bit. I really don't have great attacks, though. Oh, right, and then this brings... Valiant Escort's a messed up card in this deck. This... this is kinda gross. <sighs> sure, we have another Crusader.
Nano blocks, stick, whatever. So this has life drain and flight at this point and rage. So I think I'm doing this and giving this guy. I'm gonna give this one flight. It really doesn't matter, I don't think. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and shift flight over to this one. I think we're gonna leave one llama back here. So I'm gonna exhaust two, three, four. Four, five. I want this big enough that he can't. He can't block it with just one crusader and kill it. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and attack with both of these. I think if he wants to trade a crusader for the chimera bot, I'm okay with that at this point. And he's gonna sack this to this. This has life drain, right? So we're gonna gain six here. It does. We just got like poet defended by escort, and then we've got a champion power coming back up here again too. So, not the not the worst by any means. I think I'm just throwing this here. Yeah, that's fine. We have, we've got llamas to spare, ladies and gentlemen. Plus, that gives us we actually want troops at our crypt, right? So that way our daughter has something to do. Like, getting an extra lob in there is just, like, fine. You get a llama, and you get a llama. God, I wish I knew what that was targeting. Right? Has, has to be, has to be as you can. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Sure. Because then you get the as you can as well. Yep. Which can then get bride. Like I said, I'm pretty sure, like, we've been we've been slaying a lot of people with this. I'm pretty sure this matchup is abysmal for us. Nine nine? Yeah, sure. Crack with these two. He blocked the wrong one there, right? Yeah, because this one is only one more dam one one less damage, but it has life drain on it. I guess he could have uh Kiro fall here. Man, Chimera Bot punching the clock and going to work here. Get our herder back. Alright, you got back Paw of you as you can, which was one of the better hits for us. That's pretty good! That's pretty good! Oh, dead. Dead. I, do I even want to play? I don't. I don't even know if I want to play, honestly. Like, do I even? Do I even want to try? I feel like I don't want to try. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't care enough. I can't. Can't say that I care enough. Like, we could, like, sit there and slog for the next 20 minutes, or... And then, like, lose eventually the same way, or we could just, like, concede and play a different match. Sounds great. But remember, it's all about- it's all about life EV, folks. It's all about that sweet, sweet life EV. Take- take the plus life EV plays. Like, like, I'm probably- 
like what? I'd estimate like off the cuff, tw sub sub twenty percent to win two games in that matchup. Like opponents gonna have to get really unlucky. So like I'm much better off just like not spending a half hour playing through one more game that I'll eventually lose and just like queuing into a different match that I'm more likely to win. I think we'll pivot decks after this match. I've had enough, enough diamond poopers. Maybe we'll play some redlings. I haven't lit people up with that in a little while. Deck's real good. While we, while we battle here, I would just like to take a moment to say good morning, after your day, good night to everyone, wherever you're at in the world. Thanks for choosing to spend part of your right on time, one drop. I thought I wasn't going to have to say anything this turn, but I have to complain that you're a turn late. Um, I would like to thank everyone for choosing to spend part of your Monday here with us. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, my name is Jeff Hogan. I'm a professional TCG player slash content producer. And you've landed here at my uh, Twitch page, possibly my YouTube page of the future. If you're new and you're enjoying what you see, I'd encourage you to show a little, a little bit of support by using that follow button there on your screen. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps other people find my work. If you're really enjoying what you what you see and you want to go that little bit of extra mile and support me a bit more, you can also do so by subscribing on Twitch for $4.99 a month or becoming a patron on Patreon. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. There's this logo right here above the screen, hexprimal.com. They would love to sell you Hex CCG singles. And for, uh, they love to sell you Hex CCG singles. And if you use the code Jeff5 when you order cards, so you'll get 5% off your order in addition to supporting my content. Um, you can also check out my YouTube channel after the streams on today, in addition to archiving all of my past broadcasts there. So if you're new and you want to check out some more of this diamond deck and other sweet constructed decks and hex, I've got a bunch of videos. I archive all of my streams. I also post draft videos there every single day. So every day there's a new, a new draft video that goes up. Man, my opponent has some daughters. My opponent has some daughters. To the skies! I don't want to just make this a 4 4 in attack because he could basically just like trade one of their troops for it, so it doesn't seem particularly good for me. If I ever slash do I play poker? I played poker a lot during college. Poker's just like. I don't like playing games poorly, and poker is a really boring game if you're playing poker correctly. Like. Poker is very much about sitting and waiting and playing one in, I don't know, a dozen or even two dozen hands sometimes when you're on a variance downswing, and just, like, it's so dry. Like, the, the statistics and gameplay in it are fairly interesting to think about and talk about, but, like, the actual just, like, yeah. It's just, it's not, it's not great. It's basically the TLDR. Alright, so let's play this out here. I think I'm going to jump Willy Boy here and attack with him. Have I tried Forever's Child since Scars came out? I have not. Do I want to crack with Llama Herder too? I do not. It's it's a five resource four four that's like hard to cast too, right? Just like it's difficult to actually play out. I like guess a very real cost to it. So this is a, I have another resource in my hand attack. 
I think I'd still have to just trade off a bunch of crap here. And then he's gonna play the resource and then return a daughter to their hand and then get another daughter back. But I don't, I don't think I have a better option here, honestly. My blood staff river control. I guess not. I'm not planning to play it today, but well, it's in it's in the rotation for sure. Gargolith. Holy crap. Well then, that a main deck Gargolith. Okay, well that was never that's never a card I was playing around. I mean that's better for us than them having a diamond shard here, so I'll take it I guess. Well, that's poop. Um. Really wanted to hit a diamond shard ourselves there so we could play our four drop. Man, where are my dogs at? All I all I want to do is bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, and get my dogs with me. And Will Will Willy Boy, we need to have a talk, Willy Boy. Oh, we can't hit our fourth shard, and they're just getting buried by this nonsense. Yep. Fuck like actually running perfects please attack please attack me with this please attack me with this please attack me with this please please pl yes god bless you made a mistake back into play you go daughter double up the double double we're probably still dead but it feels good to just like get to block their daughter because they messed up it should also be playing around totem trap here This is zero, zero percent should have attacked. I'm just like super far ahead if I can't take it off the table. They're, they're ahead without it, I guess, but like, it seems like a, whatever. I shouldn't, he's gonna win the game, so the play's probably, probably right, right? Alright, take two here, down to seven. Shard! Alright, well, you know. I have to as I always wish this turn, don't I? Yep, I have to hit Rowan and as I always wish this turn. Alright, alright, we're dead. Never, never a Rowan in the top 70 cards. Bring to Justice? Not good in this matchup, turns out. Uh, a Totem Trap seems fine. Diamond's Favor doesn't seem particularly stellar. You know, a lot of our cards are good here. Where, where my dogs at? All I want to do is bow wow wow around and there are no dogs here. Rowan into Grace, sign me up. I'm sure, I'm sure my dogs will be nowhere to be seen, but we can try, right? You can dream. I have a dream, and it's that my dog is on top of my deck. And that Rowan doesn't need to decree or bring to justice or something like that. This card's kind of a liability leaving in, because it definitely exposes us to two-for-ones with their void removal, but I feel like, oh, you know what? I'm a big dumb stupid. We boarded out the bring to justices, and there's almost certainly decrees in their deck, right? Just like 10 out of 10 probably has four decrees in his deck. be right back. Declan's being quiet and I can't see him, so that's probably that's probably not a good combination. Hopefully this is holding up Totem Trap here and then this is just gonna like go <sighs> Please not murder. Please not murder. Please not murder. Please not murder. Where are my dogs at, Willy boy? 
Where are my dogs at? Never, never anywhere nearby. That's where. He's actually being good. He was not not doing anything he's not supposed to be. I was concerned. Wanted to double check, you know. Willie boy don't let me down William where my dogs at bow wow wow never never a dog never a pupper to be found really I would like to void you I'll keep this one. There are literally Clash of Steels in his board. Okay. Things I wasn't expecting out of the go-wide deck for 100. Although I did have... I was playing... Um, what deck was I playing? I was playing something else the other day, and my opponent... Uh, had Decree and Clash in their deck, and I was just like, yep. They have a second Clash here. It'd be kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. We just keep keep William run. Moonrise Elder? Sure. It's probably not winning. Actually, if we hit our Pupper next turn, they're just dead, right? Yeah, because this will be... This has flight. And this, yeah, man. Why didn't... Oh, I would kill it right now. Sure, no blocks. Hey, come on. Come on. Where are my dogs at? Where are my dogs at? Bow, wow, wow. Yippee-o, yippee-a. Come on, William. You're killing me, Smalls. Lit literally killing me, William Rowan. Literally killing me. There's none of the good beats today. Alright, so... Let's so decree the 5-5, five, five, I guess. Yeah, they're both... This is 4, yeah. They're both similar amounts of power. Let's just avoid that one out of here. In, I, in case they kill the decree, I don't want to avoid this one because it would let them get a uh, deploy trigger again. Alright, they're dead two different ways on board. Oh, that doesn't save you. Puppers got stage right. Yep. Scale of one to dead. Still on. Yep. Dead. Dob. So it's seven nine. I go to five. Uh, attack you with two lethal threats. Glad we clicked through that. Well, the wolves are on strike indeed. Man, maybe I don't want that because apparently, <laughs> apparently there's clash of steels in their deck. Um, huh. God, Grace was really good there. Do I want this extra Grace? I don't know if I want the extra Grace or not. So on the fence, Grace and Ozawa's Wish are like both poop. Ozawa's Wish supposed to be traded in combat, I guess. Sure.
This is pretty close. Um, I can see that putter. Having all of our resources is great. If one of these diamonds was a coin, I think I'd snap this off, but I think I'm just supposed to throw that back at seven. It's this hand, this hand's much better. God, just one, two on one, three out of three. Uh, I think I'm just playing this so I can William Road on two guaranteed here. Like we're ten out of ten playing that that not out as a shard. They have a Crusader on three here. We're probably going to be in trouble. Or maybe Willy Boy here can, like, actually find his dog and we can be okay. It's basically a mulligan. I mean, in this curve, it's not really a mulligan, right? But, okay, basically a mulligan? Basically a mulligan? No, we're dead. We're dead because of this card. Because of this super high variance, generally underpowered card, we have lost the game. No, wait. Wait, when you draw this, just, um, hmm. Alright. Alright, Willy boy. Rats. It would have been more gross if he had the right gem in his elder. He still has two more Valors in his hand, though, that he gets to cantrip with this, and we're, like, missing our third shard drop here. This is why you should play 25 with people. Like, with the coins in this format, you have to have, I feel like, a very, very good reason to have less than 25 resources in your deck. Like, like an extremely good reason, most of which don't exist. Like, I feel like your curve has to, like, stop at two to have less than 24 to 25 resources in your deck in this format. What am I doing here? I go like daughter jump it, but that doesn't seem very good. I think we're just gonna go William into Valiant Escort here. There's a, there's a Carnosaur in their Daughter of the Poet deck. Yep. There, that's a Carnosaur. Uh, if we hit running running Diamond Thresholds, we might be okay here. Running Diamond Shards. We can go, like, Infinite Tricks out and start, like, pressuring in the air. And then, um... I just, like, double here? I feel like I double here. If we get a Shard here, we'll, we'll hang out exactly a shard, sort of the three uncastables in our deck. <laughs> ah, you know, variance is a bitch sometimes. Alright, let's, uh... 